Hello friends, it's 16 January 2022. It's a Sunday here. Sunday everywhere. Um, it's been a while since I've made any of uh, some of these, as the beard probably is evidence. Um, it's been cold here over the Christmas holiday. Um, it got down low enough that my epoxy um, that I'm using is uh, Silver Tip System 3 which is good down to about 35 degrees Fahrenheit. I think that's about two degrees C. Um, I didn't have enough margin that I trusted it, so I kind of stopped work uh, during the season, even though I was home with plenty of time on my hands. Um, instead, I got up to starting to make a ditty bag for uh, learning sail my, uh, basic sail making. Uh, near here, up in Port Townsend, there's a shop called The Artful Sailor, and uh, an excellent book and uh, kits come out of there and so I uh, started working through one of the kits there and learning some of the basic sewing it's a, still an ongoing project but not a bad one for when it's far too cold out here um, I do have a thermometer on the uh, pillar over there so I can monitor from my uh, office upstairs you know just to get a feel for what the temperatures dip down to at night Unfortunately, the garage door is not easy to seal, and so there's a lot of air leakage through there. I tried one of those little oil-filled uh, uh, oil filled heaters that has like the veins on it to heat it up, and it does a decent job, but it's a lot of energy when sometimes you can just wait and it'll warm up. But uh, around that, I was able to make, I made seven of these deck beams uh, using a jig. I took some video of that that I might try to, time-lapse video I might try to edit in if I post any of this ever, or uh, actually learn to use some editing software. Um, there are six stack beams. The reason I made seven is, uh, as I kind of expected, one of them wasn't great. Uh, during the lamination process, you know, I put some wax paper down so they're easy to get off the, uh, the jig that I built, and also put some peel ply down underneath just to get a feel for what working with peel ply was like. And it's interesting because it, you know, when it's flat, it does give me a fairly nice uh, surface to start from for sanding. But as I was uh, pushing together some of the laminations on, uh, this might be the first or second beam I made, some of the peel ply got wedged in between two of the wood strips. And so, you know, I had enough material, I just made, you know, the extra one, and I probably won't use this. Looking at the dimensions, I think even on the narrowest one the suspect area is too wide so I don't think this one's usable but uh, they came out you know kind of <laughs> this is an early one so it got better but uh, there's plenty of sanding to do just to bring them down and even with a circular uh, table saw you know the widths weren't always you know exact um, part of that's a thin material and getting a feel for a new table saw um, but that's how it went. But you know, with some sanding, they clean up pretty well. And so, like this one here, is able to clean up nicely. Um, and uh, I'll need to watch the. There's a couple places where I was just gonna take a syringe and uh, fill in some voids that I found in those. Um, belt sander with like a 36 or 40 grit. It's a three by 18 belt sander. Uh, works really great to take those down, just be a little careful with them. And this little tool here, I think I've shown before, the Miles Craft Sounder, uh, Sander, which uses three by 21 belts, so I can't just swap them, unfortunately. Uh, is an excellent tool by hand. Again, I think this I'm using the 36 grit, and this I'm using a 40 grit on that. It does pretty good work. Um, in the interim, one thing I found is I started adding a lot of plastic sheeting. I don't know if you can see that around the shop with uh, just, I had some wax linen cord that I staple gunned around so that I have some tie-ups for it. Just to let the sawdust, you know, get dropped onto the ground and not all over all the stuff behind it. You still get some in the air that flies behind the cloths, but it keeps the mess down quite a bit. Um, so they've been pretty useful. Then you can just shake them a bit and sweep up a lot more easily. Um, but the dust gets everywhere. Um, I'm trying to be a good neighbor for the rest of the household that I share the garage with. Uh, next steps for me are looking probably tonight, which will be a separate video later. Um, 
I'm uh, going to be taking this off, cleaning up the table, dropping it to the same height as my two sawhorses. And I'll be looking to find, I have an old piece of, uh, uh, just a piece of uh, metal that I got from when I was taking a uh, metal boot camp at, that a local shop did for a couple weekends. So I have some scrap, uh, nice square, but scrap metal sheet from that. And so I'll drop this the same height as those um, sawhorses, put the metal sheet overlapping the edge of this and those two sawhorses clamping it all in place so that I have a nice hard edge underneath uh, for the scarf joint, uh, or for at least cutting the scarfs for the scarf joints for the side. Um, this is one of the tips that uh, Mr. Elliott's uh, you know, Building Paradox guidebook mentions. And so I was going to give that a try. Um, I'm not sure if I'll try to cut all four of them in one go. One of the pictures in that guidebook looks like he's cutting all four at once. Um, we'll see. I might try to do them in pairs just to give myself a chance to learn on the first pair and uh, do the others. I don't think there were any scarves in the last boat I built when I was 15 or so years ago. Um, I think it was all butt joints, pretty simple joinery on the Stevenson Weekender. Um, but uh, the plan is hopefully uh, tonight and tomorrow get the scarfs cut. Possibly tomorrow start getting at least one of the sides glued up. Um, especially in this temperature, it looks like it's going to be warm for a while. Um, I'll probably see if I can possibly make the space here to get two of them glued up next to each other. And probably leave them pretty undisturbed for about a week is the thought. So we'll see probably in the next video how that actually goes. Um, but that's where we're going next. That's all for today.